Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a classic algorithm problem, reverse linked list. This is an easy level problem on LeetCode, and we're going to solve it in JavaScript. Given the head of a singly linked list, reverse the list and return the reverse list. So we, we can look at here, we have an input of head, and it's one, two, three, four, five. And we can see here, this is the linked list. So we have a val one, and it points to the next node which is two, which is everything else. And then two is the value that points to everything else here, and three, and then we have to reverse it. So we're gonna to have to use pointers to solve this problem. So it has a this dot next to point at what's next, but we don't have what points to previous. And we can see here that five points to null. We can see that this dot next, if it's undefined, it's gonna be null. So to reverse it, this one is going to point to null, and we can point the one to that null, and then two to one, and so forth. So first thing is that we have to create previous variable and assign it to null. Next, we want to loop through the linked list. And we do that by while head doesn't equal no null. So we're going to keep looping through this. And we know that we're at the end of it when it's at the null, when there's nothing else to point to. And we can update it by pointing out to what's next. But there's also a trick to that as well. So. So we want to point this one to the null, but when we do that, we lose everything else. So we have to create a temp variable to hold all the next variables. So create next node variable and assign it to head.next. So this is going to be a temp variable we used throughout the while loop. So we don't lose what we have in the linked list because we need to do the updates. So we wanna set assign head dot next to previous. So it points out the previous, which it starts off at null. And then we want to also update where we're at the previous to be at the current node. So it was previously at null and then next would be at one. So the two can point at one and null. So assign prev to what's at the head currently. And lastly, in this while loop, we want to uh, iterate through it. And that's when we do head assign head to this next variable that we are using to hold everything else. And it'll loop through. And then once it finishes looping through, we return prev because that's going to start, that's going to begin with the head of the new link list and it can, it's going to contain everything. So to put in code, first thing we do is let prev equals to null. Now we loop through the linked list while next node does not equal to null. Now we create the temp variable, let next node equal to head dot next. So now that we have that data, we can reassign what's next with the current node head, with the current head, I mean. So head.next, we set it equal to prev. And now we can update prev, prev equals head. And now we increment the head, iterate through the head, I mean, head equals. Next node. 
and lastly we return next cred I mean sorry this should be head great And that's it to how to solve this problem. So the time and space complexity. So we're iterating through the entire link list. So it's gonna be O of N. And then we're doing constant space complexity with these pointer variables. And that's it. Thank you so much.